What's going on, guys? Welcome to episode two of Tarkov 101. I'm really excited about this one, you guys. What we're going to do in this episode is essentially show you what you're going to want to do on your first raids, um, kind of go over the maps and where you spawn at, how you get to your extraction point, and uh, looting. We're just going to be going all sorts of different stuff on this episode. It's going to be a absolutely hilarious episode because more than likely we're going to die. And it's going to be fun because you guys are going to see that even an experienced player is going to die a lot in this game. And that's what makes it so much fun is the challenge that upward struggle to be able to survive in this game is one of the hardest out of any game that I've ever played. But without further ado, court is now in session. <laughs> Okay, so first off, here's the main menu again. Uh, we're gonna go to our character and we're gonna get our first loadout uh, together. What I would recommend is not bringing in this many mags. I would bring in two and then I would bring in an extra 30 round mag here. A big thing you're gonna wanna do is bring in a CMS kit and a Salua and have those in your gamma container. I will refer that to as your butt. That's what a lot of people call it. We call it the butt pouch. Um, you'll figure it out of why but um and then i would bring in a hemostat in there as well a lot of a lot of people will actually just bring in a grizzly um and a cms kit i like to use the grizzly to um repair my character at the end of a raid that's just me personally but you can do it any way that you want it to so with that we're going to go ahead and hit our hotkeys i normally do it um in this form here just like that, kind of backwards, left to right on there. So here we have a Paka. It is a level two class armor, not very good. Uh, pretty much offers us zero protection. And we have a class four helmet with the ricochet high chance on the helmet with this is a TC 2002, it's pretty good. We've got a half mask, which just kind of covers our face, which you can see here. This is what we look out, or what, what we're gonna look like when we go into the raid. The biggest thing here is, is we're bringing in a backpack and we're bringing in a commando rig, which gives us quite a bit of looting opportunity. We are also going to want to bring in food and water. I'm actually going to put the food down there just in case we die right off the bat. We at least got some of that stuff back. And I think that'll do it. Honestly, you guys, the first thing I would recommend you doing is doing a scav run. We're going to do our PMC first and then a scav run just so I can kind of show you guys how that is and, and everything like that. So let's uh let's get into a raid first raid that we're going to do today is i think we're gonna go ahead and go customs yeah we might as well so this is your insurance we insured all of this gear earlier on episode one but if you hit insure all and then down here and insure it will insure everything for you so this is where you're going to want to invite people or you could hit start looking for group if you do not have them in your friends list do not accept the random invites that you might get while in this inventory if you accept them and you go into a raid with them they will kill you I, I can promise you that you will die from the person that is supposed to be on your team so don't do that but let's go ahead and go see elite soldier he sent us a request D don't go into the raid with them don't go don't go don't do it it's not good you will not have a good time i promise <laughs> so uh let's get into it um uh, let's go all right, so now we're deploying in. We're gonna find out where we spawned at. We spawned inside of warehouse. I believe this is called warehouse 14. Um, there's some pretty good loot in here. Right here is a jacket. We're definitely gonna wanna hit. Jackets are absolutely fantastic to hit as a low level player. Um, we're gonna have to examine empty wallet, that's good. Jackets are great because you're going to be able to find keys to unlock doors. And that is going to be extremely crucial for you to be able to unlock doors for tasks, for all sorts of different things that you're going to be getting yourself into. Uh, also, you can find really good loot in certain uh, rooms that have keys or that need keys. Also, outside here, we've got a weapons crate. We're going to put the wallet in there. we got a PP... SH-41. It's an old style military right. or old World War II um, 
old World War II gun. It's not very good, but it's good at leg meta, so we will just in case we need it. Pop it in, put it in full auto. Make sure your guns are in the proper firing. Uh, firing that you needed in. That's a scav. That's an AI. He's dead. Whenever you shoot while you're a low level player, you're going to want to take one shot if you can, especially at scavs. Very important that you take out whatever you're trying to shoot as fast as humanly possible. Now that we've taken out that scab, there could be a few scabs back in one on the Like that one. Woo! Buonasuka! Buonasuka. Yeah! Okay, so what I did there is I held down C and I used my mouse scroll wheel to be able to adjust the height in which I was standing at so that I could get the proper angle on shooting that scab in the dome. At this point, in, when you're starting out, you're going to want to loot pretty much everything. Everything you find, loot. And as you learn what items are, how much they are worth, you're going to want to go about that direction. This guy has a scav vest, a knife, a respirator, and a hat. He's got an AKS-74U, which is a fairly decent gun, you guys. Um, it's not very good, but it's not bad. I am currently hitting the mouse button for the scroll wheel to examine, to quick examine, like I am here. So we're examining items that we see. And we're also grabbing certain items. That MP9 mag goes for about 30k on the flea market. We don't have the flea market yet, but as I said before, you're pretty much grabbing every item that you can find. And we're checking up here to make sure that players aren't coming towards us. This has got a MP133 shotgun. If you guys did not remember, we do need that for a task. We are going to stack our Triton rig inside of our day, or our day pack here. And we're actually going to drop our Paka and grab this Zuck 3. It is a class three armor, whereas we were currently wearing a class two armor. It is halfway damaged all the way, which is totally fine. Uh, most of the time you're not gonna find full armors on scabs. Uh, but I, in my opinion, half of a class three is better than a full class two. Plus we will get that uh, Paka armor back in insurance since we dropped it. More than likely, no one's gonna pick that. So this is PRS ammo for the um, AK variety of weapons. Um, it, it's not very good, it's one of the worst. Uh, we're actually gonna drop the AK for the Grizzly and we're going to loot that. We can't put the Grizzly in there because there's no four slots in the site. So our extracts here, we can check our extracts. There's a hidden Jaeger stash here. Sorry, it's, it's so hard to remember to talk about everything. Um, the Jaeger stash that we just uh, hit, we are in old gas station. It's in the back corner here. Those little stashes right there are very, very good. Um, literally anything will spawn in those for the most part, except for like items cases and stuff like that. At least I've never found one in it. So we're gonna go across here towards the railroad dip down towards the left here. Our extracts, if we hit double O, will bring down on the top right here. We have ZB13, which is right over here. We need to hit power to be able to turn that on, which we don't have the key for it anyway, so we're not gonna worry about that. But we need to do the crossroads, trailer park, rough roadblock, or smuggler's boat. More than likely, we're gonna be using rough roadblock or trailer park. Sorry, my ears itching. Here's another stash. It's, they're hidden, but I'm telling you what, you guys, they're definitely worth remembering where they are located. This is bleach, and that is some dip ammo. We don't want that. We're going to keep the bleach. We're going to drink the green tea. Um, green tea is really not worth anything other than to drink in the middle of a raid. So what I'm doing here is I'm looking down into there, and as we can see, there's a scav right there. There's another one out front. Oh, 
All right, he's hurt really bad. There is also a stash right in front of this here tree. Go ahead and hit that really quickly. We got HP ammo, that's not good. We got more HP ammo, that's not good. And we've got a M45A1 handgun. Always good to grab guns when you have room in your character. So we're going to look for that scav that we shot at. This is what I call MGK just because it's got mounted machine guns in it. But it is also called like the Alamo, Fortress, stuff like that. Um, I went ahead and put my gun into fully automatic. We're going to check this weapons crate. It's a paracord. Those sell really well on the market. The scab should be up here. That was the scab. You can tell because he bombed at me. So we went and checked in here. He should be right over here. Okay. I think this is Scav Boss. This is Scav Boss? Not, this is not good for a, a level one. I would highly recommend not taking this engagement. But we are already in it. We don't really have an option. Well, sure. And we're dead. And that is how it goes, right there. Literally, I shot him in the head a couple times from a distance because he had such good armor. He had an Alton on. It's one of the best, um, one of the best uh, helmets you can wear in the game. Um, there was just nothing. Once we got caught in that back corner, there wasn't a whole lot we were going to do. We were pretty much dead. Um, so you do need to be careful of that once you go into Alamo. Obviously, we didn't have good enough ammo to be able to penetrate that helmet. Um, and that's the way the cookie crumbles on that one, you guys. I mean, that's, that's Tarkov in a nutshell. Sometimes you just aren't good enough. You don't have good enough gear to be able to take on the scav boss. So what we did there is we waited until we could hit apply to use um, the therapist to heal. Um, I highly recommend using that option the first few raids because it doesn't cost you anything at all. Um, they actually just implemented that not too long ago. But we did get a wallet and we did get a knife. So what we're going to do with the wallet is we haven't unlocked Jaeger yet, but we can keep the wallet and put our cash in there. It's a good way to um, good cheap way to be able to store a little bit of a little bit of money and stuff with that. We're going to go in with an MP5 this time, a pack of armor and this and a day pack. We're also going to bring in a tax sport. We got a bandage. We got a split. We've got a cheese and painkillers. So we'll go ahead and hotkey this stuff here and we're going to make sure that we've got more magazines for this and then i'm pretty sure this takes p yeah pst gch so we're gonna grab that we'll put one in the um in the chamber by dragging it over to the gun and we're gonna put that down there and we don't need that anymore so we can put that there once again you guys this is tarkov you are going to die you are going to die a lot as you can see i'm an experienced player as soon as i recognize that that was scav boss I was pretty sure I was going to die, but luckily for us, we do have a scav run that we can run and we're going to run it on customs. And as I always try to do, you guys, I always try to suggest running your scav runs as a new player as much as humanly possible, as much as humanly possible, run that scav run. So when we load in, I'll be back in with you. We'll pull up a map and show you where we're at and where we need to go. Okay. We just spawned in. Uh, we are in the middle of old construction. This is a very bad spot to be just chilling, so we're going to actually run over here. We're going to go in between here. 
we're just going to sit right here for a second. First thing we're going to do is we're going to hit H. And we're going to check what kind of ammo we got. We got 366 TKM FMJ. We're going to hit tab and check out our, uh, our inventory. Uh, we have currently two full mags of 30 rounds of the 366 TK FMJ. Uh, we've got a bandage, a sling, a WT rig, a class 4 armor, and some other things. This gun here is actually extremely good because um, we can kit it out as we go through this scav run. But on customs, typically you get you spawn in with about 15 minutes left. That's where we're at right now. So we have military base CP and passes between rocks where we need to be located, where we need to go. We are hearing shots over there at Alamo where we just died. We're gonna go this way. <laughs> and we're gonna hit stashes as we go. Once again, chat is very likely that we're going to die. And the best thing we can do is just smile and go, oh, that sucks. There is a stash right here inside of this tire. We're going to go ahead and hit that. We have SP6, which is pretty good ammo. We've got a helmet, so we're going to delete that. Put the helmet on. I used X to be able to discard that item. I have my um, hotkey for discard for X as I use it very, very frequently, and I like to be able to do it very quickly. If you guys want to check out my keybind settings and all of that i do have a video up which i recommended you guys checking out on the first episode so make sure you guys do that um we have another stash here and this has a huge mppv rig which is much better than the wp rig that we have here hell of a find right there chat it's a very very large rig we are looking good right now all right so we're going to continue on over towards the gas station where we can also find more stashes. So to find this next stash, just hang a left right here at the wall, go towards this here pole. It's right here on the ground. We have 55 HP, it's garbage. We got wires, you wanna grab that. And AA batteries you don't want, and 55 FMJ you don't want. It's not worth picking up. Once again, we have more stashes that we're going to be hitting. Typically on scab runs on customs, I just hit all the stashes and then I get out. I hit all the stashes on my way to the extraction point. We're always constantly listening. So what I do is, is I just get up against this wall and I jump and come across. It'll kind of like float you in the air there like it did. And then the you'll land pretty much right on top of the air stash. We've got running to our right. SMB is good. 55A1s are really good. And CPUs sell for quite a bit on the flea market. Being an experienced player, I know that that's a scav. You're probably not going to know whether or not that's a scav or not. He was running very robot-like. So that's how I know it was a scav. Up here, there's some pretty decent loot. Not too many, not too often people spawn the, or uh, loot this area. Um, this is what I call like tower. Um, there is an M4 spawn on top of this generator here. There is a med box inside of this building. We're gonna go ahead and loot this. There's a bandage, another bandage, and another bandage. All very useful for us as a beginning player. We're going to need to put on a lot of bandages. There's also a weapons crate right here. Go ahead and hit this. It's a toss stock. We don't want that. I don't even think we can fit it. So I'm going to come in over here between these two concrete structures. Hit the weapons crate. When I loot, I, I move to look away from it so that I can look at where I'm going to expect players to be so that when I tab out, I can move quickly to be able to aim at them. There's also a weapons crate here. Now we do have nine minutes and 56 seconds remaining in this raid. Um, it's plenty of time to get to our extraction point from where we were at. That is an AKMS. It is a very, very good gun. I like using this quite a bit on my hardcore account. 
as they are actually pretty decent. They run a good ammo caliber. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down here a little bit. What I always do to look for this last dash, I look for these pieces of wood. And I come up here. Stash. It's going to take you guys a long time to be able to find stashes that quickly. This is a Deitcha helmet. It is class 2 with a low ricochet chance. It is garbage. Do not ever put that on. If I catch one of you guys wearing that, I will not throw your gear. Um, and then once again, our extracts are military base CP, which is right there. And then passage between rocks, which is over here. I'm going to come over here to hit this stash, and then I'm going to go back towards passage between rocks. Because there's a stash back there as well. So for this extract, you'll go over here by this dumpster, and you'll start extracting. Six, five, four, three, two, one. As I said, we're not going to hit that just yet. We're going to hit this Jaeger stash here. Boom. Soap and aquamarine. Since we're not quite full yet and we are on a scab, we are going to go ahead and head towards another stash. This might be our downfall, but we might have a nice little come up as well. So sometimes you just have to risk it for the biscuit. Um, another thing that I haven't really covered on scav runs, you guys, is for our scav runs, if you uh, run into another AI scav, they will not shoot you unless you shoot them. So they are your friend. Friends. Now, there are other player scavs. They will shoot you. So you have to be very careful on what you do. And you have to be very decisive about who you're lenient with or who you don't shoot or whatever. So this is Passage Between Rocks. This is the extract we're going to take. And we extracted. GG's. GG's. That was an easy, easy loot run. We didn't have to shoot one bullet. We've got level four armor. We actually have a decent kit to run for our next PMC raid. And that's what I would recommend you guys do um for a lot of this is to do your scav run whatever you come out with run it on your pmc so what we have here is pretty darn decent pretty darn decent i mean we came out with all of this and in the grand scheme of things is this a great scav run no but every w in this game is in fact a w and you should be proud of it because it is hard the first time i ever played this game i didn't extract for like two weeks and it took a very long time to become successful at this game and more than likely it's going to take a long time for you but luckily you have someone teaching you along the way um i did not i had to learn all this stuff pretty much by myself until i got to about level seven and then i started playing with a good friend of mine irish who you might have seen on my live stream which if you guys haven't checked out my live stream make sure you do I'm over on facebook judge drudge um self-promotion hey. uh so now we just get to wait sometimes we have some long load times which is totally totally normal for tarkov especially on a friday afternoon or friday night like we were playing right now so, yeah, let me uh, cut this off. All right, we're back into our main menu here. Uh, we already have a loadout ready to go, but I do want to take a gander at what we did come out with. We came out with an Akuma Marie. Now, this is absolutely fantastic to keep inside of your hideout because with this, we can get our hydration up multiple times so it's 150 out of 150 it normally does about two hydration per one point so we'll go over that a little bit later and how that works but we're actually going to keep this rig for storage because it does absolutely fantastic for short for storage um so we're gonna we're gonna keep our ammo and some other things inside of here for now just to be able to keep that in line we also came out with a few wires some smb ammo which is top tier ammo in my opinion 
some screws, which we're going to need a ton of, and some bandages as well, which is always good to grab heels. With that, we are going to go here. We are going to go to customs again. We're going to hit ensure all. This is going to ensure all of our inventory. We're going to hit yes. This is going to cost 22K. Hit next. Once again, hit ready. We are going daytime at 10 o'clock versus going at 22, which would be at almost 11 o'clock at night. We don't want that. We do not want that. So I'll catch you guys back in when we go into the rain. Okay, we are spawning in now. Um, we are going to be going to customs. Our goal here is to kill five scavs. We spawned in directly in front of the main bridge here. Immediately when spawning here, you're going to want to jump, not jump, but run down to the other side. Um, this is one of the best spawns to spawn on this side of Big Red. Big Red is the giant building that is over there. You're going to have to do a few quests inside of there. You'll know what it is after after you see it. It's just a big red building. Um, so immediately we're running down the main road here. We're going to stick to the right. Over to our left is going to be dorms. Lots of quests that we need to do there. But on a Friday night, a lot of sweaties, a lot of guys with lots of gear are going to be over there. And we don't want any of that chat. That would not be fun. So what we're going to do is a little patent move that I... Okay, something's really going weird going on with that right here. I have no idea. Yo. I have no idea what was going on. I heard running, like right on top of me. And then that scav didn't die. I hit him 12 times, did 323 damage. That's Tarkov. And he one tapped me in the head. Okay. Once again, chat, you're going to die. You're going to die a lot. So what we we have done differently there um i don't know um we had a scav up in the little building there we had a scav on our left i had running on top of my ear um i i'm still kind of trying to comprehend what was going on there it is what it is chat it is what it is um we're actually going to go in with that gear that we got from that scav run um We'll take this and we'll take that as well as we'll take this rig right here. Um, so we've got level four armor. We're gonna bring in a cheese, a splint, a bandage, and painkillers. There we go. Just head right back into it. All right. Okay. So hopefully this rate goes a little bit better than the last one. Um, we're going to try to make this work on again. We're going to try to extract as always. That's the, that's the big key. Uh, immediately we are going to. We spawned in over here by the military checkpoint where we extracted on our scat. Um, there is a spawn over here to our right, and there's a spawn in front of us when we were looking this way. So we do want to be cautious of those guys. Um, hopefully, hopefully we don't run into any players. Any geared players. Um, I think I heard running. Which isn't a good sign. There is a stash right here. Those were shots. I thought it was running close. The audio, um, the audio is not very good right now. Um, that last raid, I really, really don't know what happened. 
Um, but we continue on, chat. So we're actually going to push back forward here the way that we came from. We don't really want to go that way. It's going to be very sweaty. That It's going to be very sweaty anywhere at this point. Actually, you know what? We are going to go this way. Sorry, I'm changing my plans here. Every, every raid's different. You can't really just have like, I'm going to do this mindset because you have to take all the information that you are receiving from audio cues into consideration. We heard some shots in this direction, just right there. Um, that sounded like a UMP or a MP5. Very low tier player gear is what I'm hearing. I'm not hearing SA58s, I'm not hearing M4s. Um, so we're heading that direction. Not because we're looking for a fight, we're actually looking to just kill scabs and find 133 shotguns and Saluas. That's kind of our mission here. So those shots are over by construction. That actually sounded like an unsuppressed vector. Or MPX, maybe. It's just not something you want to go up against. Uh, PRS ammo is garbage. FMJ 43 is garbage. Uh, BTs are pretty good. You can put that in AK. We're not going to hit everything here. We are going to hit the medical container. There's an M4 spawn on top of there. It's not there. So since we do need to kill scabs, we're going to come down here in front of the gas station. And when we come down here, we can actually use these bushes for obstruction so that people can't see us. Scabs typically aren't able to see you in these bushes as well, as long as you play it right. And we're just going to take a breather. We're going to take in all of the sounds and all of the information. So we just heard a grenade over towards gas station, a little bit further past it. And I can tell that just from experience. Now we're hearing shots inside of that warehouse there. And we're also hearing grenades as well as possible UMP vector, I believe. And that sounds like an AK. Um... Those all sound kind of in front of gas station, possibly at the scaffolding area, but we don't know for sure, but that's what we're taking in. And we're listening to those sounds and listening to where they are moving towards, because that's going to give us the uh, information of where they are headed and when we can guess where they are headed based on the movements that they've been taking since the beginning of the raid. So we haven't heard any fighting, so I'm assuming that engagement is over. That or they're taking a break and healing or doing whatever. So we are going to move here. The only shots close we heard was at that warehouse inside of there. So we're not too worried about that guy. He could come this way, but I highly doubt it. I'm going to guess he's going to go over towards old gas station. We are heading towards the new gas station right now. We just saw a scav right in there. It looked like it appeared to be a regular scav. Um, we don't want to rush in there like we did at Alamo because it could be um, scav boss again. <laughs> I was not expecting scav boss on the first raid. I was not. It just, it didn't. I hadn't seen him in there in a while. I was playing customs all day today. I hadn't seen him once. And then when I do the brand new account, bam, there he is. Pretty typical Tarkov. Pretty, pretty typical Tarkov. Would have been really cool. Would have been really cool if we would have got taken him out though. So we're gonna come into the back side of the gas station.
We hear two different sets of footsteps. They're both scavs. We heard jumping to our right. I mean, someone's jumping over here. And there's the player. We're gonna come out this way. We're gonna kill that scab, grab his loot. Pulling out the Mosin. We got a scab behind us, so we're retreating back in here. We're gonna reload this. Search this gun, or search this scab vest for his ammo. For the Mosin. We're gonna repack the Mosin. We're gonna use the Mosin for this engagement, because we are expecting it to be at range. That's the scav moving on our left. We need to pay attention to our arm stam here. Make sure it doesn't go too low. I'm using the alt lean buttons so that I move slowly. Okay, that scav's dead. We got really lucky he didn't shoot us. We got really lucky. We're gonna go ahead and unload this ammo here from the package. We're gonna go ahead and fill up our magazine here for our MP5. Our milk is going to give us 30 hydration and 20 energy. Currently, we're at 20 and 72. Um, so we're going to drink it. That's going to put us at 100 and 100. I know you guys couldn't see that. My person is over the top of that. So we did hit him, as we can see blood. Definitely didn't kill him. I'm expecting him to be in those bushes. Might have effed off. So instead of this MP5, we're going to ditch that. Did we not insure our stuff? I thought we did. We're going to grab this backpack as it gives us more space. That's where we insured. Okay, so now we have this AK.
We're gonna go inside of the gas station here. This is Plex. Go ahead and grab that. Check this bag here. This door's locked, but you can't open up the weapons crate up here. We don't need any of that. So we've killed two scabs. We hurt that player. Uh, fortunately, we couldn't get the uh, kill shot on him, but that uh, that Mosin shot, we hit him, I'd say, in the right shoulder. Um, it definitely, definitely made him reconsider that engagement. So what we're going to do here is we're going to hit another stash that's down here. This is a very dangerous area. Because it's right by dorms. And as I said before, dorms is a very highly PvP area and loot area. We don't want to wear that. We can bring it with us up. Winston cigarettes we do need for a task later on. I don't think we need bleaches, but I'm going to grab it just to be able to sell. It doesn't sell for very much, but... 10,000 rubles is better than no rubles. Scavs can spawn in here, so we do want to be careful. This is the bus station. This AK doesn't appear to have a rear sight. Kind of sucks. Maybe it does. Maybe I'm just no, it doesn't have a rear sight. Which honestly doesn't affect your aim too bad. Have not having a front sight obviously does, but the rear sight's not too bad. If you don't have it. So a good strategy for a new player um, is to just kind of let things calm down after the initial push. Um, everyone's trying to get to their task and stuff very quickly. Um, so if you just kind of wait, a lot of times you'll be okay. And there was a lot of action going on in the first few minutes of the raid. So more than likely, more than half of the PMCs are dead. But that doesn't mean you need to put your guard down or anything. That just means you're more likely to not have to run into other PMCs. I'm backtracking here because I thought I heard something. I don't see anything. You can do this to zoom in and then if you hit mouse wheel you can move it left and right and free look while you're aimed down, which will zoom in slightly. See? I think we're okay to move here. There's a scat. We were getting shot at by, I think it was that same guy from before. It's totally fine. We're just going to move quickly here to get away from him. We can go in here and kind of hide. If you stick to the very right side, it's already been looted. So we can't loot that stuff. You can tell because the box is open. So if this guy pushes us, if we use this obstruction cover, we should be able to see him before he sees us. And possibly be able to make a good shot on him. Depending on what kind of gear he's got. 
So I am using Alt, A, and D to slow lean to be able to get a perfect view angle through these bushes. Um, I am known as a little bit of a bush wookie. Um, it's very tactical. It's very smart. Sometimes when people kill me when they're in a bush, it pisses me off. But you know what? It's smart. So I'm just seeing if this guy's going to push us. I don't think he's going to. And if he is, if that was the same guy from before, I don't believe he's going to push directly behind us. It wouldn't be a very smart move. I think it was the same guy because he missed every single shot. <laughs> and so did the other guy. So I think we've waited long enough. So we're checking our corners. We're checking for scabs. There's lots of scabs in this area here. We're going to go on the very back side of this. just kind of look we're taking our time here this is a very dangerous area lots of places to hide and we're going to go over towards the RUF the rough Roadblock extract. Okay. That's what I wanted to hear. We're going to try to kill these scabs. That's a scab running right now. It's a dead scab right in front of me there. So what we're going to do is just use these bushes to our advantage. Okay, there's one. We got debut done, so we've killed five scabs now. We don't want to get too anxious here. But I'm pretty sure this was a player scab because he has another gun. Doesn't always necessarily mean that, but a lot of times that means that it's a player scab. and grab the gun instead of the helmet and we're going to go to our extract that light on right there means that our extract is open for us and we can use it so we're going to hopefully come over here we are extracting constantly moving inside of this extraction point we don't want to sit still we don't want to be an easy target for a sniper and ggs that's our first extraction on a pmc for this account absolutely fantastic it was it wasn't a very eventful raid we had an engagement with that player we killed three scabs um which gets us up to level four i believe honestly every w is <laughs> is a w <laughs> So right off of the spawn, we head over to the military checkpoint Jaeger stash, and then we hit two more Jaeger stashes over by the tower, and then we head on down to the new gas station. We get in a little player fight there. We didn't end up killing him, but we went back in through new gas station, uh, head over the railroad tracks, and hit the Jaeger stashes on our way. And we went through the bus station, came on through to old construction, head on through old construction all the way around the concrete wall. And we came out of the hole in the wall and went to rough roadblock for our extraction. To finish off this episode, we're gonna go and do another scav run on customs again. Um, and we will show you where we spawned in at. We'll, go hit, sh we'll hit some loot spots, um, some Jaeger stashes most, most likely, and um, we will go from there. So let's get some of this stuff offloaded into our inventory and then we'll get back right into another scav run um 
which I'm actually pretty excited about. Okay, finally back into the inventory. Uh, we did get a thousand rubles, which we can put inside of our wallet. Super handy for that. Uh, what we're going to do here is actually we're going to hit the auto sort button again. This will auto sort everything. So everything's kind of where it needs to be. It makes it a lot easier. Um, and what we're going to do is, is we're going to offload. We're going to offload the stuff that we're not going to need for the next raid. So we're just going to do this. Just like this. Take everything out that we don't need. Oh, that's good. We'll take that out and then we'll just hit auto sort again. Let's just put everything back where it needs to go. Um, for our ammo, we actually don't have much for this, but I do believe we can buy from Prepper. We can. We can buy PS ammo from Prepper. So what we're going to do is we're going to buy, let's say, 30 rounds, which costs us 2,730 rubles, which is a pretty good price for that. It's a good round and double check make sure this is all loaded up and we'll do that right there take that out and put that there now we're rocking that same gun it doesn't have a rear sight which we could take off of this one and put it on there but we're not going to we're just going to leave it the way it is it's not too bad the mask we do need five of these for a task so we are actually going to set this and put that in one of our rigs this ray bench we do need for a task very much later on we're just going to sell this for now it's going to take up way too much space okay so we've got our pmc ready for um our next run but we are going to run our scav run this does have a kind of cowboy hat which we do need two of for a task later on as well as um, some other decent stuff he does have ears on which is good but once again we're going to go to customs um i do recommend doing nighttime raids once you have figured out the map um, and you can figure out where you are but for being able for viewing purposes we're pretty much going to stick to to daytime raids so here we go. okay so we spawned in relatively close to the gas station uh we're gonna immediately come in we're gonna hit h once i get hit we're gonna hit H. So we've got 366 TKM FMJ, just like we did last time. We've got a Propital, which is absolutely amazing. Um, it's a very good thing. We actually have two more magazines. We have an AK with no stock or dust cover. This is um, brilliant Tarkov engineering for scabs. We do have a kind of cowboy hat, which we do need for a task. That's just a regular scab. He was freaking me out, dude. That's why I didn't say anything. Um, so we're going to come over here. Normally, they're not up there like that. We're going to come inside of here. This is an ammo box. So we got some BT rounds. we got some T rounds. we got some APSXs. These are one of the best rounds in, in the entire game that will be put into an MP7. It's okay, though. got plenty of ammo. Uh, bolts, always good to pick up. And this is a thermostat. You don't need too many of those. Normally, I just sell them until I do need them, and then I'll buy them off of the flea market. That That's kind of what I've expected there. Uh, he had a MP5. Uh, one of the little shorty ones. Uh, but as I said before, that's Tarkov for you. It, honestly, if that guy would have just let me go, he'd have been fine. Like, he didn't need to kill me. As a player scav, I recommend I try to advocate not killing other player scavs. Make friends. It's a lot of fun. Um, but that guy is just a jerk. I mean, it's Friday night. It's just full of sweaty. So, um, but that's going to be it for this episode. I'm trying, most of these episodes are going to be a little bit longer than the first couple. Um, but I just want to get me and my, uh, me and my editor into the routine of doing this and, um, get everything ready to go. So you guys, like I said, that's going to be it for today. Um, thank you guys. This is episode two of Tarkov 101. I had a blast. We had 
a successful PMC raid, which is fantastic, and in a successful scav run, we've got five scav kills. We're making progress, and that's what you have to look at. You can't look at the deaths. You can't look at the negatives in this game. You have to be positive. It's just like life. There's always going to be negatives, but you have to stay positive. Some days you'll have amazing days and nothing will go wrong. Other days, everything will go wrong and you won't, you'll lose all your whole stash and you'll want to quit and you'll never want to play again. And then the next day you'll wake up and you'll play. <laughs> if you guys are over on the YouTube, make sure you guys hit that bell, uh, throw some comments down. If you guys want to see something, say there's something that you don't understand mechanic wise, say you don't, um, you don't know how the certain skill is, is upgraded, just anything at all. Put it in the comments. I will, let, I will make a video. We'll take a section out of the next uh, video that I do record and we will talk about that certain mechanic, whatever you're asking, um, if it is relevant, Tarkov relevant, of course, and we'll just, we'll go over everything. So this is going to be kind of a community ran Tarkov um, learning experience. So everything that you guys feed me, I'm going to try to put into the show itself. But with that, you guys, court is now adjourned. I'll see you guys later. Have a good one, guys.